Mayor has worked with the fireworks team for over a year. The mayor of Sydney, Clover Moore, described this year's show as one of the most creative fireworks display Sydney has seen. More than a billion people worldwide are expected to tune into the fireworks on television. Earlier, New Zealand also welcomed in the new year with a fireworks display. Fireworks were set up over the city's 328-meter-high sky tower near the harbor to the sound of horns and cheering crowds. And as the upcoming new year approaches, the holiday spirit is all around. From the light show in Shanghai to fireworks in the Philippines to the New Year's ball drop in New York, cities across the world are bidding farewell to 2013 and welcoming in 2014. To usher in the new year, the entire city of Shanghai will light up on both New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. People can enjoy the night view along the Huangpu River to see the city aglow in neon lights. And during the Spring Festival holidays from January 30th to February 4th, the city will once again turn on its lights. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, light will also fill the night sky on New Year's Eve, but in a different way. Firecrackers are a popular way to welcome the New Year, and the Filipinos buy them each year in vast quantities. Tradition says the New Year should be welcomed with a ban to drive away evil spirit and ensure the next 12 months will be lively and full of excitement. This is to get lucky in 2014. It's a tradition every year to fight off bad luck. And people in New York are in for a very special ball-dropping celebration this year. Organizers at Times Square have unveiled a new kaleidoscope design for the ball that drops as part of the New Year celebrations. They gave it a test run on Monday, throwing a switch that illuminated over 30,000 lights embedded in waterford crystals. And new this year is a whole new pattern. We have the Waterford Gift of Imagination Crystal Triangles that are a series of intricate wedge cuts that mirror each other like a kaleidoscope. And as you can see behind me, it looks like a kaleidoscope. And they're illuminated by these beautiful Philips LEDs that create all those wonderful colors. It's really a jewel in the sky on December 31st. On New Year's Eve, the big shiny ball would be raised to the top of a 130-foot pole in Times Square and then lowered to rein in the new year. Shen Li, CCTV. Well, the Chagan Lake, which covers an area of 420 square kilometers, is the biggest freshwater lake in northeast China's Jilin province. According to Mongolian tradition, it's regarded...